What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the Daily Scuttle, but with Ivy's Family Factotum. I am back in the truck again, but as you can see, I'm actually here at the property. And, oh, man, just to, to kind of ease my suffering, <laughs> uh, I'm actually recording this one the day prior. Just, just to see how this is going to work out. Because I've said that, you know, if I need to to record these the, the day prior uh, to uh, what's going on, then I, I'll do said, you know, you guys are still going to stay in the loop. You're still going to get some behind the scenes stories, you know, so, some bean spillage and, and a possible Navy story here and there. And you guys are going to get bumped around a little bit as I'm driving around. Coming around to the back side of the property over here to the build, and I'm just showing you guys what's going to be going on. And uh, man, it, it seems that the the theme going on <laughs> in the the local community, you know, or the the family, as most of us call it, which I I know that we're we're still kind of like that that second cousin twice removed. Um. <laughs> you know the, the redheaded stepchild but that's okay uh, we we go and help out when we can and you know we we get to to go to the the parties every so often now nah, we we are good in our community and and i know that whenever uh, someone truly needs the the help and we're able to provide that we get there and we're there and such and uh, and do those things and and vice versa you know when we truly truly need to help i know that we can reach out to quite a few people and they'd be like all right let's go we're there and that's uh, one of the things that's already happened right was with the the other build of the cabin the big cabin boom you know, Drew was able to come out and give us a hand with that. And it's definitely appreciated once again. But what else have I been doing besides going through 50 million pairs of clothing because it's just so dang hot that I'll be like 50 pounds heavier just because my clothes are just soaking wet from sweat. Oh, my goodness gracious. Um, but other people in the community... I've also been doing sheds, right? So David over at Come On Homesteading, he actually was gifted a big shed, you know, from a neighbor, and they went and uh, tore that apart. Uh, him and and some other members of the community. So I'll link that down in the description. Go check it out. And then also our friends over at Simple Life Reclaimed have also put up a shed, and they had just posted that and then uh, they shared us out uh, over on their community tab so that's greatly appreciated you know sharing the love helping us grow you know because we're doing a shed but not only this shed boom <laughs> we are also doing a metal shed but this one is not the same brand that what they got but this one's still going up i still got a few more things to do but these cannot be built with one person. I am telling you that right now. Right meow. But that edit is in the works, okay? Um, obviously, I want to finish it before I get it out to you guys. But that's like a week in, in progress right there. Just because I was at a point where I couldn't do nothing with it, right? And obviously, I was able to finish this up here. Uh, that the last part to this shed will be coming out hopefully wednesday it all depends on uh how fast the the internet can get a video uploaded this the the last part to this uh, which is gonna be the roofing right we haven't gotten those materials yet but wrapping up the little details of this part six uh, no nowhere near as long as part five part five was uh, a monster of a video almost an hour long but we got a lot of stuff put into that video and the help from the family like i said 
uh, to get that done, okay? But then what else has been going on? Getting power. So we have our well, right, that you guys have already seen. But I've had to come out here, dig a four-foot hole by hand. <laughs> oh, yeah, once again, digging a big hole by hand. Yes, I had my buddy's auger, you know, that helped dig all the holes for the, the cabin build that's still going on. But, hey, sometimes you, you got to do stuff by hand because, for one, his auger is not going to dig down that far. And two, I really don't know how much it's going to help me anyway because if you look in this pile, you can see some pretty good-sized rocks. And, and I'm not saying that these are little tiny rocks. I don't even know if I can dig it out of the pile, but yeah. So that's my, so my hand from wrist to, to fingertips a little over seven inches. But you can see like this, this is one of the big ones. Oh my goodness gracious. Look at this guy. Boom. Yeah. Yeah. Digging that out of that hole. And there's actually a few more that's about that size. So, huh. when you're digging with an auger, it's not going to go through stuff like that. You're going to break your auger. Okay. It's, it's actually the, the pin um, that holds that. It's called a shear pin. As soon as you hit stuff like that, boom, it breaks. It shears off. And... It's doing what it's meant to do. It's going to break. <laughs> so whenever you're meeting obstacles like that, you can't dig with an auger. You have to get in there and do it by hand. Um, unless you have, you know, the other major equipment that we don't got. That's fine. Because at first, I was going to go up here and do a hole. But I can tell you right now, that, that big rock, right, that will... There was like three big rocks and they were all at different depths. They actually came out fairly easily because the ground around it is pretty, pretty nice. But at first I was coming up here, I was starting to dig up here and this right here, which, oh my goodness, look, <laughs> worms. Anybody need some worms? But up here, I was hitting rocks and rocks and rocks, rock, big rocks. Basically everything in here, that right there, made a little over a foot deep, and that took me four days. Four days. Crazy. And, uh, but yeah, and those worms, man, that's crazy too. Which I need to cover that up, because some of them wor worms are not doing so hot. Not doing so hot. And it's making that place stink. Whew, plus all the flies. Kick that. Kick the dirt in the hole. <laughs> Whew. All right. Live action, people. Live action. Can I get over here? And I, that's actually the first time I've seen that. I haven't looked down in there. And, uh, well, I know going over to the cabin site, the holes over there, like, I'll, I'll go look at that every so often just to see how well the holes are doing. And you'll see worms like that over there too. So, <laughs> whew, yeah, we are not in a shortage of worms if we ever need worms to go fishing. So, that's good. We see them every day, every day, all day. But, all right, you guys, that's what's going on. That's what we've been doing, trying to, to stay hydrated. Gladys is still at work. She's still doing okay there. Uh, she's in her element. She really loves what she's doing. And... Yeah, as of right now, because it is a long-term temporary substitute, all right, or a long-term substitute teacher. And so, like I said, she could be there a week, be there a day, be there a month. We don't know. She could be there an entire school year. Because as of right now, you know, she's a couple weeks in, and they don't even have any uh, anybody that has even come in to do an interview yet. Like they haven't even found anyone to even interview yet. So, um, yeah, who knows? We'll see. 
Um, but I'm still here. I'm still doing the work. And if you can't uh, notice, kind of up and around me and such, uh, the grass is still growing. Grass is still tall. Weeds. That stuff there is taller than me. And then you come over here, right? So we have all of this yard that has to be cut. This needs to be cut. This trailer's moving. This is where the RV is going, right? This is where we plan to move the RV. But we need to get this ground prepped the best we can. Somewhat leveled the best we can with uh, Lil Mac. Um, once I get Lil Mac the bucket and stuff fixed, which I've already showed that on another video. But just try to get this leveled up somewhat, you know, the best we can. But then we also cut all this right so we try to keep a, a pathway cut just keep the bugs down right so between this here this here the other side of the creek over by the rv over by the road down our driveway down the road all this grass that gets cut is probably uh close to two acres worth of grass acre and a half maybe and we're doing that with a weed whacker because <laughs> none of our lawnmowers work so the riding mower i got from mom i wasn't able to get it to work it i got it to start and it just it ran horrible it, it did okay i mean it, it it was not running the way that it should have been running when we were testing it and using it to cut grass right and then gladys ran over <laughs> she ended up running over the hose to the dump station it was an accident she didn't do it on purpose right but since that happened it, it really has not um it runs even worse and now i can't even get the start so um yeah that that is what it is uh uh i don't know the the push mower though i i've done everything to to my extent of what i can do and i still can't get a spark um, but I've, I've replaced stuff. I've checked out stuff, uh, anything and everything that involves, um, that right, being able to get a spark and it's still not working. So I don't, I don't know what's going on with that. Um, yeah, but that's it y'all. That's what we got going on. Uh, staying busy, staying hydrated and yeah, but here we go. I'm testing out doing this. Uh, a day in advance just to see if i'll be able to get this video up and loaded that way you guys are able to watch it first thing uh more towards the morning and yeah but i need to get busy because i got projects that many many projects that i can work on right i can choose that one that one that one this one that one over there <laughs> a lot of things that i can be working on okay so i definitely appreciate you guys for following the journey helping us grow sharing us out it's greatly appreciated we love y'all and last but not least remember to always thank a veteran at every chance you get not only on veterans day we'll see you on the next one later y'all